this video brought to you in part by these fantastic Patreons. Patreons are the lifeblood and the backbone of this channel and help with cool things like the giveaway in the description. But let's get into the video. Greetings, heirs, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Shotgun Shogun, and it is Wednesday, my dudes. And what does that mean? Well, that means patch notes for Epic 7. And we got the Biken side story open. So, as expected, that was going to drop today. And, well, we didn't get any information for our Dizzy yet, but also something to be expected. So I'm not going to bore you with the details on the side story because chances are that you've already been playing the side story and you know pretty much how it works. You know the characters that are getting the increases. Hopefully by now you have your soul bad guy, you have your junkyard dog. You probably put a couple levels into it just to make grinding a little bit easier as I would actually kind of suggest. Uh, hopefully you also got Biken and Torn Sleeve to make it even easier from there on out too. Now this time we are going to be getting ribboned hairbrushes as well as token of the chosen and now nice thing about token of the chosen is that the tournament is open so you're going to go in here you're going to use token of the chosen in order to participate now for this week we are only going to be able to do the normal mode which looks actually really really weak uh if this is the normal mode down here that's on the screen you're going to be up against like level 25 enemies and that should be pretty easy piece easy clearable by just about anybody that is going into this so the hard mode will open later on uh, yeah during week two we're only going to be able to get the normal mode during week four we will be able to do the hard mode and i'm hoping that the hard mode is actually kind of hard and you can't it's not just like oh let me auto all the way through this now i know that they can't make it super hard because you want to make it so that your event is accessible by just about everybody, but it would be nice. Now, if you do lose, you don't have to worry too much about it because you can just keep on trying until you until you win, which is one of the nice things that I really like about Epic 7 is just because you lose doesn't mean you can't throw yourself at it more and more and more and more until you win like Abyss levels, like 86, yikes. So, what else are we getting out of this? Well, we're getting an artifact out of the Welfare Challenge. We're going to be getting Portrait of the Savior's Brawl Relevator Challenge. And this one is going to be uh, up against Biken, up against Soul Bad Guy. Now, one of the things that you're going to want to do is um, you're probably going to want to clear this out. You're going to want to absolutely get this because it is I, it's pretty much an upgraded exorcist tonfa. And well, I mean, it's it's free. I actually fully suggest max limit breaking every free servant artifact because they are limited and you don't know if they're going to come back. Um, honestly, I usually limit break it and then I get one extra just in case in the future I, you know, need an extra one. Now, a lot of times if it's a four star like this one, you can't use the dust from the shop to to raise it up. So if it is good and you do want some, this is actually a pretty good place to grind them out out now what are we going to be getting out of this uh well first off nice 20 percent hell drop rate on this so if you can run hell it should help you run through this very very quickly now this is going to increase damage dealt by 10 percent to enemies that have more than 50 percent health now the one thing that does confuse me here and i wonder if this is just translation in the patch notes but the patch notes say that the artifact portrait of savior increases damage dealt if the enemy's health is less than 50, but the literal picture says that if their hit points are more than 50. Now, I don't know if there's clarification out there yet. I haven't really found it anywhere, but um, I'm going to go with the actual picture and say that if your hit points are more than 50%, you're going to be doing an extra 20%. Now, this is really nice if you're trying to burn things down at the very beginning or something along those lines. Like I said, it is a little bit of an exorcist tonfa increased and well, it's free. So can't really can't really beat free. So there you go. That's going to be the challenge. And there is 
some people, and I kind of agree with them, thinking that I know will be in the challenge as well, probably maybe the last week, or we might see it next week. We'll see, because if you go into some of the Guilty Gear collab characters and you look at their specialty section, I know is definitely a character in there. So we'll see them, you know, drop that on us now typical typical um side story you are going to get a gts out of clearing hell difficulty so if nothing else clear it just for just for hell difficulty not only that but you get some silver transmute stones and you get some gold so definitely worth throwing a little bit of time in there now we got some improvements and bug fixes you have a bunch of characters um who have the relationship for the following adjustments and new characters and stuff like that so pretty easy an issue that caused text increased combat readiness to be displayed even after sage ball and says and dies that's been fixed which is good because that leads to a little bit of confusion on some characters um they did fix the bug with by ken now it's it's a bug and a lot of people are calling for buffs for by ken and i personally think that by ken is fine could she use maybe a little bit of buffs i don't know i would always accept them but i'm not going to be clamoring for them now previously people may have noticed and this only seems to happen for some people but not everybody um i've heard varying uh varying reports anyways but before you had bleeds that a bleed that would ignore effect resist now instead of nerfing that and making by ken potentially a little bit weaker they just decided to make it a feature which i actually like you know what that's fine because now you have an 80 percent chance on your s2 to at least put one bleed on there now this will be beneficial if let's say you wanted to run a rage set it means that you are going to at 80 percent be able to guarantee one bleed and then potentially follow up with an s3 for more damage with a rage set now I haven't really been able to test it mostly because I don't have a good rage set. Uh, if I did, I would be testing that out. But I do notice that um, the S2 pretty much always puts a bleed on. Uh, you have a pretty good chance at 80%. I have mine um, at, at plus four, so I don't have a full 80% chance. But there is very, very few times that I don't get a bleed up with her S2 and then follow up with a, an attack afterwards. Now, moving on, uh, an is issue that caused the effect of the four star artifact, Arius not to be applied to revived allies and supporters has been fixed. That is really nice because I know that that is a artifact that I run on the regular. Summons an issue that caused the amount of gold obtained to be higher than that displayed when transmuting a two-star penguin obtained through friendship summons has been fixed. I don't actually really look at them in the slightest. I just slam through everything. Um, an issue where the revive effect of Abyss 486 Dust Mushroom Skill Self-Destruct Mode did not trigger in certain situations has been fixed. I really wish I would have known what that was because Abyss 486 was super frustrating. Um, they did adjustments to the last target to cause provoke is attacked in the case that the same number of continuous turns occur during a provocation never really ran into that issue so but hey it's fixed we do have a fix for an issue that caused crescent moon Rin's skills eye catcher to steal the berserk effect off the boss monster who appears in what oh my goodness i didn't know about that that would be that would have been crazy to steal that berserk effect but you don't want to abuse bugs people so that's been fixed as well there are a couple other bugs with crescent moon rin and i'm gonna go over those in another video so hopefully that bug will get fixed in the future um boop boo, boo so we've got side stories we've got a whole bunch of stuff here one of the things uh that kind of bugged me was in guild wars there was an issue that caused players not to be able to change the position of a hero when assigning them to the offense team uh there were quite a few times where i would have time uh issues assigning my teams 
and my characters and you'd have to like click through a ton of different things until it would let you and then move things around it was it was a big pain in the butt so other adjustments have been made so that a reason as to why certain event heroes cannot be used as fodders displayed would be very good for new players improvements have been made so that the players Current amount of Molagoras and Molagoragos is displayed in the top screen of the skill enhance menu. This is a huge quality of life for me because there's so many times where I'm like, man, do I have enough for this? And then you have to click on it to see how many you have. So th this is really, really good. Just small quality of life things that you don't really think about and you just, it's going to be great. There was an issue that caused a hook to overlap with a Rose Apostles meeting hall NPC's speech bubble in the Tyrael Castle that has been fixed. Sweet. Um, let's see, outside of that, uh, there's an issue that caused the text for a hero drop rate for a four to five star hero ticket to not be aligned correctly. That's been fixed. So overall, we didn't get a ton of stuff. They did fix the buff for bike end by making it a feature we're going to have the challenge we're going to have tournament mode we're going to have bike end's side story which is super super good and yeah so there you go we didn't get it doesn't look like we have notes for what is coming out of the shop in bike end's side story would have liked to have seen that ahead of time but i mean well we're going to see that here in a, in a couple, well, yeah, in a couple hours anyways. So I would expect stuff for maybe Soul Bad Guy, maybe some more uh, Catalyst for Bi Ken. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Didn't we get that? Didn't we get that back here in this event? I'm pretty sure we did because I'm pretty sure that I already saw it. Event currency. We already have it ignore me i'm i'm really yeah so we have we've already got it and actually you can just literally look at it in the store so because it's already all there so just they didn't have to put it back in there anyway <laughs> anyway sorry it's really early and i'm like i woke up i recorded this and then i'm going to work so hopefully you guys are excited about this i'm pretty excited about this also if you looked at if you look down there in the bottom left hand corner that is uh that's by ken autoing uh banshee 11 which a lot of people said couldn't be done but i would like to thank all of the patreons who help make this channel possible you guys are super fantastic if you would like to join them there is a link down in the description let me know also in the comments if you guys are enjoying this e7 content i am enjoying playing the game so been thinking about making more content i'm gonna probably go outside of just patch notes and random pvp flexing and maybe do a little bit more so if there's something that you would like to see just let me know down below and uh yeah if you would like to help support the channel just hit that subscribe button smash that bell notification drop me a like and a comment and i will catch you after the patch take it easy peace